In a post-Bruce world, success means to clearly split your audience. To split your audience, you need to be controversial. When Obama won the election in 2008, it took six months until all the learnings were integrated into business marketing. But in 2016, when Trump won, nothing happened. We are two and a half years later, and still, I don't see a lot of things going on. And still, there is a lot of learning that are not used today for businesses. Let's have a look through them. Trump spent eight times less budget to win against Hillary Clinton. And if you analyze it, it comes from the strengths of the message. The message that were designed and that were used, a message that go deeper and generate their own media space. Basically, he hacked the system. So what is the new key? Well, it's quite simple. It's not the hunt for the like, it's the hunt for the anger. I call that the anger game. You need to have a group of people that are outraged by what you're gonna put out as a message. They will generate the media space you need to touch people who will then love your message. But first, you need to have the outrage. It means that basically the KPI is how many people are shocked by your message. And this can be used to create amazing marketing campaign. And actually, this has started. When you think about Nike campaign, when they use a, a Kaolin Kaepernick, Nike take him as a hero for the next campaign. And what happened? Well, white supremacists start to tweet about that and with the slogan, just burn it. As a result, people start to like the brand even more. And actually, the sales of the company went up. But outrage is just the beginning. It's just the cute part. Let's now go to what makes it super strong. When you have outrage, you are immediately able to use what I call the dark toolbox of political marketing. Let me just walk you through some of the examples. If you use, for example, troll armies, it means that suddenly what you do is you talk about something like Trump did, saying Hillary Clinton is the devil, and then the troll army start to generate all the visual and the memes that a political party wouldn't have been able to assume. And this generates the right image you want to put in people's head and in people's mind. Another tool I really love is the weaponized clickbait. Have a look at this article on Facebook. It was shared 45,000 times, even though after the first two lines, there's only Latin that is written, a classic lorem ipsum text. So what does that teach us? That you don't need to have a lot of content. You need to do a war of punchlines, a war of header. That's how you will generate the shares and how you will generate some success. So in a nutshell, in a post-Bruce world, success means to clearly split your audience. To split your audience, you need to be controversial. I hope you enjoy using political marketing for classical business.